This video is going to show you how to create a task, and inside that task in our software, you can create a new customer that doesn't exist in QuickBooks yet and push to QuickBooks at the same time. We also have another option I'll show you, which is how to not push the customer to QuickBooks right off the bat and then push it later when you're able to get into QuickBooks. So the first thing I want to start off with is that really we're the add-on to QuickBooks. So in my opinion, all customers should be created in QuickBooks first and then sunk into the service program and then worked. However, that's not always a viable option. Um, speed, timing, things like that come into play. Maybe you've got a customer on the phone, you need to get them off the phone and you need to get this work basically documented. They're a new customer, you don't have time to play games. So if that arises, here's what you need to do. Let's say you get a call from a new customer and they're, they're having a plumbing issue or a major issue and they need someone out right away. Um, what you're going to want to do is click Task Entry, this big green button along the top of the software. And then from here, where the customer is, we don't have that customer in yet. Let's say their name is New Customer. When you tab out and you click out, tab or click, doesn't matter, you're going to get the same pop-up. It's going to say, new customer isn't a valid customer. I name them new customer. Um, select yes to add that customer to QuickBooks or select no to add to the service program only. We can do either one. If we hit yes, we're going to add them right now to QuickBooks. It's very important that you make sure you're signed in the QuickBooks first or you'll get an error. Um, if you hit no, the customer will wait to be pushed to QuickBooks at a later time. I'm going to show you both right now. First one is, we're going to go ahead and hit yes. I know that my QuickBooks is open. There it is. We're going to go ahead and push that customer in. So I'm going to hit yes. And then we're going to get a pop-up. We have to fill this pop-up out. Maybe this new customer is in Florida. I would recommend, obviously, naming them what you want. So the things that are highlighted or the things that are bold here are what is required in order to create this customer. So you want to give them a name, give them a phone number, we don't need to add any of this other stuff, however we can. You then need to make sure you have a billing and a shipping address. If you tab out, the system will copy it by default. However, if you need to change it, feel free to type in there whatever else you want. We then want to put in a city, state, and a zip code. We're going to say West Palm Beach, Florida. From here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Create button. When we click that, it's going to ask if we'd like to create that customer. We hit yes. You're going to see that the system's working for a second, and then it's going to say customer successfully created. I can click OK, and then the system's going to go ahead and throw in all that other information that we entered just a moment ago. From here, you're going to fill out your task with the rest of the information that you need to get a task going. I'm just going to fill out some junk here to get this task closed. Now we're going to go ahead and open up QuickBooks, and we're going to see that right now we have that new customer I just created. We double-click them. All of their information is here that we had entered when we pushed in. Pretty cool option. It works well if you're able to be in QuickBooks at that time. It's great. Now the other caveat to this is that you now need to go into this customer, make sure you set up their tax settings, all the important stuff, and at some point you'll want to update customers back into our software to update the sales tax settings. Let's go over the second option, task entry. We have a new customer on the phone. Maybe Rick Rickerson just called us and they said, you know what, I need you to uh, Go ahead and get out here now. I got a, something that burst. I got a plumbing that burst, and I need somebody out here to fix the piping. We can go ahead and hit no. Let's say we can't get into QuickBooks at this moment, but we got to get this created. Just click no, and then ask the customer for any other information you need. What's the road you're on? Okay, we're on 899 this road. We're located in West Palm, Florida, and the zip code is 34983. We'll say. You can also enter the email address and any other information that you want. Okay, so we have this test task created. We've got this customer that is not in QuickBooks yet. Here's what happens. When we close this, we still have the task. Everything's fine. Our software will show that customer name. If we want to go look at them, we can. 
There's Rick Rickerson right there. But we need to get him in QuickBooks. And an easy indication from looking at your customer list that to know that he's not in QuickBooks yet, we don't have a date created. These are the dates that customers were created inside the QuickBooks side. So I know that we have a customer that's not in QuickBooks. If you hit the update QuickBooks icon, or the next time you sign into the software, you're going to be met with the screen. You're going to see a new red button that you've never seen before. It's telling you basically, hey, I've got some customers here in the software that I can create in QuickBooks for you. You're going to need to do this at some point because we won't be able to bill for this customer if they don't exist in QuickBooks. So what you want to do is just next time you see this, make sure you're signed into QuickBooks. Click this Create Customers Not in QuickBooks, the red button. It's going to pop up and it's going to ask you, are you sure? And to make sure QuickBooks open. We're going to say yes. And take a moment. It'll tell you it's complete. The red button goes away. If we go into QuickBooks, we're going to have Rick Rickerson. There he is. He's existing now in QuickBooks. And that's basically how you add new customers on the fly in our software and get them in the QuickBooks.